Hi, Jolly here from Home Kitchen again. Um, I've picked up a very simple and a very quick uh, preparation today. Uh, this probably wouldn't take more than about 25 minutes. Once you have your prep ready, like the last time I've mentioned, I'll take you through it. So I'm going to be making uh, mint flavored oven roasted chicken wings. So we've picked up some lovely chicken wings um, and it's mint from your garden, mint from our garden. We've used peppermint in this case, as a peppermint but you can also use a regular mint uh, that you have. So I've actually gone about making a paste of mint. So to get this mint uh, paste, if you like, I've gone about using uh, peppermint, a bit of onion, garlic cloves, and green chili. And that's about it. To marinate the chicken wings, uh, what we're gonna do is we'll add yogurt, mustard oil, and that's a mustard oil I've uh, gone about uh, uh, getting. We're going to use uh, Lee and Perry's um, Worcestershire sauce just to give that nice tartness. It has a bit of tamarind in it. It has a bit of uh, anchovies in it as well. But you're more than happy just to use some uh, malt vinegar or, or lime juice or lemon juice as well. Uh, and the side of this dish, um, we're going to be roasting wax gourd. It's also called potol. It's also called parval. Uh, as a childhood growing up, I, I remember very vividly that um, mom would actually slow roast potatoes and wax gourd and, and sort of make it like a chip and it's nice and crunchy. Uh, very popular in central India, in Calcutta and other places as well. So uh, we're gonna just make some chips of it in the oven as well along with the chicken wings uh, whilst it's being roasted. All right, let's get started. So like I said, this preparation doesn't take more than 25 minutes if you've got your prep ready. And, and what I mean by prep here is these three key things. Um, this is red chili paste. We've got uh, garlic paste and ginger paste. And the way about making this is literally you've got to take the whole red chili, uh, soak it overnight. And then once it's soaked, you, you sort of drain the water, blitz it. Uh, preserve it with a bit of oil and I've actually gone about then setting it up into uh, cubes, small cubes in a freezer and it's frozen. So this literally saves hell of a long time and if you've got this ready you can go cracking on straight away. Okay so this is what I'm gonna do. Salt, I'm gonna add uh, a bit of uh, garlic paste here because I also have a bit of garlic in that as well so we don't want to go too much a bit of ginger give it a nice rub and these wings are so sort of um, easy to prepare it's quick people love it you can um, stir fry, you can make a curry, um, yeah, and here we are roasting it, good. Then I'm going to add a bit of uh, mustard oil. For tartness I've got this, Worcestershire sauce, you can add tamarind paste as well, uh, by the way I had this um, tamarind paste. Alternatively, you can use this or you can use lime or lemon juice as well. Um, so, but this has a bit of tamarind extract, so I'm gonna use that. Once I give it a nice mix. The beauty of uh, this preparation is it doesn't need to be marinated too long, but if you have that extra time in your hand, um, keep it overnight or at least three to four hours before you add the second uh, flavor, flavor note. And in this case, I'm gonna add um, the mint paste. Probably two spoons of that. And I'm gonna use a bit of yogurt. It's two spoons of Greek yogurt. Does the job. Um, yeah. For extra tartness, um, you can season it later once it's done. 
And for extra spiciness, I've got this red chili here. I'm gonna add a little bit because, um, yeah, making it a little bit peppy. Oh, you don't like chilies, baby? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit out for you on the side. Two wings good for you? Okay, I'm gonna take two wings out. So, yeah, for the extra tartness, uh, sorry, extra spiciness. And mix it. That's it. It's as simple as that. And go straight into the oven. So once we put this into the oven, um, we will start with seasoning these uh, beautiful um, wax gourd. Yeah. So marinate it beautifully, train up, and now it goes straight into the oven at about close to 200 degrees centigrade. It's got a top fan as well, and we'll just pour it out there. But we'll check it in the next 10 minutes or so. In the meanwhile, let's get cracking on seasoning the wax gourd. All right, Mehan? Yeah. Uh, let's get cracking on seasoning uh, the wax gourd, tossing it up with a few spices and then putting it in the oven. All right. So for some of you uh, who may not have used this in uh, Europe or in England or in US before or uh, anywhere in the globe, typically Indian, very local vegetable. And this is what it is like once you, once you cut it up, you find, you find seeds in it. This is unripe. But once it starts getting uh, a bit ripe, it gets hard. At that moment in time, you want to take the seeds out, but otherwise it's good. So I have taken some seeds out here and I've left some seeds in, which is tender. There's a nice crunch to the seed when it's roasted as well. So let's get uh, closing. Wait, my hair. And what are those lemon things that we're going to put in the tray? Well, I'm going to marinate it. I'm mean, going to actually season it up. But what the, are they? Oh, these are called patal, parwal or wax gourd, it's very waxy. Well, that's a good point. Some of them um, also peel this off, you know, they actually take uh, and then they start peeling it off this way. But I like the crunch of it. I like the crunch of it when it actually roasts, but a lot of preparations do that. And also go about stuffing it up. You know, that stuff with some meat, with vegetables and bake it. Yeah. So it's a very lovely vegetable. I love this vegetable. So let's go about Dada, if it's called wax goat, I mean, wax goat. If it's called wax goat, why is it not a goat? Oh, goat! It's not a goat. It's goat. Okay, like the snake goat, wax goat, bitter goat. Okay, goes in turmeric. I'm gonna add a bit of coriander powder, coarsely ground coriander. Bit of chili powder. And the last thing is, this is actually very tarty. It's it's like a chaat masala is a call. Chaat is very tangy and peppy. So a bit of that. And the last thing is a bit of mustard oil. And that's it. So we'll toss all these together. Traditionally, people cook it on slow flame in a pan or with a fire, but let's use some technology, chuck it into the oven, and do what we love doing. That's it. So, yeah, that's, that's what it is now. Look, it can smell lovely. Beautiful pickling flavor. Have a, have a smell. Smell, smell, smell. Nice. Okay, let's get quickly with this. Lunch time already, isn't it? So. Then why are you negative? Okay, let's be quick. You Into the oven. Mama's not from the starving. No, we're all starving. Beautiful. I'm Into the oven. Hungry. Same temperature, top heat. I'm hungry. Been about 15 minutes. Uh, time to check the chicken. Yeah, we we'll see. Um, that's a non-spicy one, spicy one. Just about getting getting there. I'm gonna flip over the side in a quick second. Uh, and the vegetables, we're gonna see. The vegetables. Probably vegetables will take much longer because they need to be crisp. They're actually cooked, but we need to give it 
uh, I think easily about 15 20 minutes more to check it to be crispy but that is almost done I'm gonna flip over the side so that it cooks well on the other side as well so it's been about uh, 15 extra minutes so total about half an hour um, and now uh, look at these beauties perfectly roasted this is ready power the vegetables would need a little bit more time uh, they're getting there they're not totally crispy uh, I guess we need to start with vegetables before we start this is how they curl up and go crispy and crunchy we'll give it a few more minutes but let's take the chicken out beautiful Them beautifully sizzling away so perfectly cooked on either sides perfectly cooked nice salad with a bit of muli tomatoes muli um, yeah radish muli and it's beautifully simple with those chips so you can straight have with the mint chutney I actually season it punch it up a little more so we're gonna get cracking eating this right now and then wait for a little bit by the time uh, the chips are ready and, and uh, uh, sample them later crunchy wax good chips ready well um, Nice and juicy chicken wings, beautifully cooked. Um, beautifully, beautiful. Oh, really beautifully cooked. Um, there's a subtle mintiness in it. And these chips have come out really good. Those are not chips. Oh yeah, let's see, wax dough chips, bottle chips. Those are not mm. chips. Enjoying it, try it at home, keep it simple, be safe, be positive.